Yo, what is up, bros? This is Abrubanati back with Great Conqueror of Rome. Thought it'd be interesting to show you the final Roman mission of the campaigns. But first, you bros were asking about the Senate, what I upgraded. I really didn't do too much on the top three. Decreased usage of resources isn't that big a deal right now. Maybe in the added conquests when the game's updated. But I wouldn't worry about it now. The amphitheater, I did uh, max out. Increased general experience is pretty important, and I put a few in this after I actually had a decent amount of missions from upgrading the town hall. But mostly I just focused on what would upgrade my units. So you knew about these three bros. You knew I had Lee as an archer general. I sold him once I had enough medals. But this bro, and then I picked up another cavalry general. Uh, he was below 100 medals, but he's actually... What I think is one of the top cavalry generals um, in the bronze section. Civil War of Caesar and the final mission, Battle of Munda. Although Pompey has been dead for years, Liberius still firmly sides with the enemy, causing us so many troubles. But even if he launches a new rebellion on the southern tip of Iberia, it would still be the last struggle of the wild beast at the bay. The enemy would never have expected to be surrounded so soon. Defeat three key units, okay. Own four plots, couldn't do that. Defeat 30 enemies, I couldn't do that either. So we're going to try this again. I will lead the 10th Legion to attack the left wing of the enemy. After completely defeating Poppy Legion, we will meet at the city of Munda. Doubtful that we will do that. I'm doubting that'll happen. That's all the way in the uh, southwest corner. I'm going to have a hard time getting midway through. So yeah, a perfect three star on this. Probably going to be possible till you have like max tech level, I'm guessing. Max up your units. So, um... When I had started uh, upgrading my units, I had not noticed that you could scroll over and upgrade different stuff, like the attack and the defense. Uh, I thought it was just doing it for you, like one upgrade it would automatically upgrade health, the next upgrade it would automatically upgrade like attack. I was not paying that much attention. I was only upgrading the health for quite some time. So, my units are healthy as shit. Their attack and defense, not so much. And, like, movement is the last thing I upgrade. Yeah, Munda, that ain't happening. So, there is one of the key units that we must destroy. And what kind of sucks about this one is the other ones kind of hide from you. You actually have to go out looking for them. And I think one is the, like the top left behind that city and the other one I think just pops out whenever he feels like it. So my new cavalry general, he doesn't have the health that my other bros have, but he still hits pretty decent. I mean, I'm not upset with the bro. I just need to upgrade him a little bit. Get him hitting a little harder. And usually, because I've played this a few different times, um, usually my bros to the south can handle that one uh, main target. I just gotta take this and then um, help those bros to the south out a little bit. So they don't get overran and go hunting for these other two targets. I'm still saying my two best generals, I think, are Hannibal and um, the general that you're given that I've upgraded. And if I had a bunch of medals, he'd be so much better because he actually has the health of that bronze uh, general that I just purchased. 
If I could spin the medals and upgrade his rank like four or five more times, he would be a complete badass. But that ain't going to happen for a while. I'm more concerned with getting some better generals. So, probably what I'll do next is upgrade my bronze cavalry general to somebody better. I haven't even looked at the top ones yet. I don't know who I'd buy. But I don't know if I have enough medals after I run through um, all the alternative missions. Or the flip side of all the Roman missions. Depends on how well I do, I guess. Obviously, the other missions are harder than the Roman missions. So, at this tech level, we'll see if we I can even complete the final mission. On the other side. The enemy coalition attacked our barracks in the rear. Assemble a troop immediately and intercept their troops. Good luck on that. So I have yet to see the other two targets we have. I'm thinking I can probably kill 30 units. That seems reasonable. But holding... What is it, the four strategic points? Probably not going to happen. I can maybe hold three of them. I'd be curious to see... What would be different if I had upgraded my attack? Instead of the health of all my units. Because I think, like, my infantry has one attack upgrade and... Uh, it seems like maybe my cavalry has one. Yeah, I just thought with each, uh, with each level, like... The AI just chose which thing was going to be upgraded. I didn't know there was a choice. I should have. Obviously, it was like that in European War 6. But it, it was a slightly different layout. Like, it was pretty obvious. Or maybe it was obvious to everybody else in this game, too. But I was in a hurry. I just wanted to play missions. I found like the key to this level is keeping your units reinforced. Do not let your generals go down, you will be screwed. So yeah, we've got this primary target that we have discovered. The other one might be around Munda. Like I've seen him pop up, speak of the devil, there he is. But now the other one went into hiding. So I do need more money, so I'm going to take this city up here. It's pretty much already weakened. So it shouldn't take us too long. See, helped out our bros down here. If we didn't help them out, they would have lost their city, I'm pretty sure. Labinus army is retreating. We can't fight Caesar without his army. I should also leave Spain before it's too late. The morale of the enemy troops is shattered because of the withdrawal of reinforcements. Keep up the momentum. Totally. Look, Caesar's a badass. I just... I don't want to spend all that money. I already bought Hannibal.
Get a rat, kid. Yeah, Caesar is a savage. But, like, I really don't need him because I've already beat the final mission on the Rome side, so. I mean, it'd pretty much just be for show. Like, hey, yeah. I bought Caesar. Bet you guys don't got him. I'm wondering if I should back up those bros up there. They can probably handle that guy. Probably need everybody else to the south. So I've kind of found that... Uh, so I made the Archer General, right? And I had the Cavalry General. That's a good start. Then I went ahead and bought, uh, Infantry General, right? So after that, I think you should buy another Archer General, and then after that, another, uh, Cavalry General. Because usually you're given a couple cavalry, especially in the later rounds, a couple cavalry and a couple um, archer units. See, I don't know what I would buy next, so would I buy a third cavalry general or a third archer general? Because I don't think I would buy a second infantry general yet. This could be it. Nope, not quite. Caesar's almost dead. Caesar might die here. You have to give an F in the chat for Caesar. See, I'd like to go heal my bro right there. Uh, rip. Infantry, bro. It took too long to go heal him. Caesar's down. The other bro went into hiding? Somewhere. There he is. Damn, he's got some movement. Of course, he walked right up in on my reinforced troops. What a pleb. Oh, I'm about to lose my ass down there, too. I'm going to end up with, like, one general alive. Get lit up, bro. Oh, I might survive with two. I don't have enough um, to capture Munda. I don't have enough money and my generals are dead so I can't really build up an army right now to go on Munda. Boom bros! There you have it! <laughs> Oh, I had 26 enemies. I could probably get 30. The, the key plot's not right now, I don't think. Anyways, bros, hope you're enjoying this content. If you are, slap the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you back here for our next upload. Peace! Bruminati, out!